Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss LIFO Reserve. Now in the prior sessions we looked at LIFO by itself and I hope you remember this image that I used to illustrate the point and what is LIFO? LIFO is a cost flow method just like any other cost flow method like FIFO or the weighted average where the most recent inventory purchased are assumed to be sold first. So the items that we purchase first are sold first. Now, if you are not comf comfortable with this concept, please go back and look at the cost flow method, FIFO, LIFO, weighted average, and specific identification. The assumption here is you understand LIFO, at least from a basic perspective. And here we are going to make the assumption that LIFO would give you a higher cost of goods sold, assuming the following. Assuming prices are going up or we are experiencing inflation, which is the same thing. If prices are going up or, or if we are experiencing inflation, they lead to the same thing. Higher cost of goods sold. Why? Because we are matching the latest items last in, which are the most expensive, with the, re with the, with the recent sales. So the most expensive are sold first. Therefore, cost of goods sold will be higher. Then, if you remember, we worked this example, and at the end, we looked at average method, FIFO and LIFO. And using this example from the prior session, what we find out that LIFO cost of goods sold yielded the highest cost of goods sold, 51,500 versus 45 versus 42,480. So the highest is LIFO in, in, in terms of cost of goods sold when prices are higher. What is that going to lead to? It's going to lead higher cost of goods sold would lead to lower income. So if cost of goods sold is up, net income is down, as well as taxable income. Then also net income, well, let's talk about in terms of taxes, taxable income is lower. What does that mean? It means LIFO helps you save money on your taxes. Why? Because you are reporting less profit. Lower ending inventory, it would report lower ending inventory. For example, the ending inventory is 23,000 under LIFO versus 29,500 under FIFO and 26,952 under the average method. Now, everything that I showed you here is assuming prices are rising. So the cost is rising, which is the norm. How about when prices are declining? The opposite is occur. If prices are declining, cost of goods sold is the lowest. Net income is the highest. As a result, your tax bill would increase. So the same principle applies to FIFO, but in reverse. So you want to make sure you are comfortable with FIFO, LIFO under impact on profit and income. So having this basic knowledge, now we could move to something called LIFO reserve. So now all what we did is we did a quick review about LIFO. Let's move in and talk about the LIFO reserve. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Let's start by revisiting another rule for LIFO, a different rule, and that's the LIFO conformity rule. If you remember this, we said that according to the US GAAP, if a company uses LIFO, and I mentioned that IFRS, just this is a side note, does not allow you to use LIFO. IFRS believes LIFO is a gimmick. And this is one of the major differences, one of the differences between, let's not call it major, between GAP, US GAAP, and IFRS. So according to the US GAAP, if a company uses LIFO for tax reporting to save taxes, assuming 
prices are going higher they must also use LIFO for external financial reporting and this is called the conformity rule so you have no choice once you use it for tax so if you are using this is tax and this is let's call it financial financial reporting which is your financial statement if you use LIFO for tax you have to use LIFO for financial this is the LIFO conformity rule this is the LIFO conformity rule because LIFO does what? It reduces your taxes. So if, it's, if you're going to reduce your taxes for external reporting, you cannot use FIFO and show the best of both worlds, lower taxes and higher income. Use LIFO for tax, you would use LIFO. You have to use LIFO for financial. So companies may use LIFO for tax advantages mainly to defer taxes by reporting lower profit. And why do you do so? It's, it's lower taxes. And what does that mean? It means right now you can save money and there's time value to the money. So having some savings now would help you. And that's why you want to use LIFO to save on your taxes. So that's the main reason why U.S. companies use LIFO. Because remember, LIFO is an assumption. So she so said, we're using LIFO for external. How about internal purposes? Remember, we, we could whatever we report externally it doesn't have to it doesn't have to be the way we do things internally so a company could be using LIFO for external purposes and using LIFO or some other method for internal purposes and the question is why why do companies use different method internally versus externally well internally why would they use FIFO because most companies in the real world the cost flow of goods is FIFO all companies retailers, grocery stores, they want to sell first item first and first out. So companies often use FIFO or the weighted average internally because it aligns with the physical flow of goods. Most companies, they want to sell the old material first, first and first out. Two, FIFO is easier for record keeping, first and first out, so you don't have any in quote old inventory on the books and you're gonna see you're gonna have an issue with that later and managers prefer FIFO for bonus calculation as it tends to show higher income when prices are rising and we have to assume that prices are rising and this is even if we have no inflation prices don't usually go down prices keep on going higher so from a management perspective if you're a manager you want your bonus to be computed based on FIFO because FIFO will show a higher profit. As a manager, you want to show higher profit because your bonus is dependent on that bonus. Your profit is dependent on that. Your bonus is dependent on that profit. Therefore, FIFO will yield a higher profit and rising prices situation, which is most of the time. So also pricing decision, when the company prices things, they use FIFO is better pricing because it reflect the current cost that we are experiencing first in first out it means we are matching getting rid of the old inventory so we know what's happening in the prices so for all these decisions internally companies would use FIFO now also in the contract of some CEOs they tell you on the contract look you're using LIFO but my bonus I want I want you to compute the profit based on FIFO because the profit will be higher assuming prices are rising so we have FIFO for external, we could be using LIFO for internal. So what do we have to do? So why are, why are we discussing this? So what is LIFO reserve? Because we didn't get to LIFO reserve. LIFO reserve is this. If you are using LIFO, you still have to show FIFO figures. What does that mean? It means you have to compute your numbers using FIFO and create a reconciliation. So the LIFO reserve, also called the allowance to reduce inventory to LIFO, is a contra inventory account. So what you have to do, you have to show the difference between inventory reported under FIFO, which is the internal method we're assuming, and inventory reported under LIFO for external purposes. So although you're using LIFO externally, you still have to compute it. You, can, you still have to compute. FIFO and show the difference and here's how you compute the difference here's how you compute LIFO reserve so the LIFO reserve if is inventory under FIFO minus inventory under LIFO so you take those two figures and you subtract them so you compute your inventory both method you find the difference and if you're using LIFO you have to show the adjustment so this account is necessary for reconciling internal records FIFO with financial reporting which is LIFO LIFO is for financial 
five LIFO is for financial, FIFO is internally, you have to reconcile. So since it reduces inventory, it carries a balance that's of a credit nature, a, a contra account. Think of accumulated depreciation. So we, we will be using an account called allowance to reduce LIFO. Allowance to reduce LIFO. So the best way to illustrate this is to look at an example. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional resources, whether it's multiple choice, additional lectures, exercises that will help you understand the LIFO reserve. Invest in yourself. And by the way, this will be, uh, this computation will be in the notes. It will be explained in the financial statement in the real world. So invest in yourself. That's the best investment you can make, whether you are an accounting student, CPA exam candidate, CMA, CFA or any other professional certification. Good luck.